In this video, I'm going to go through a little demonstration of how I build a, uh, an alignment matrix for a reduction print. I'm going to go ahead and find a piece of cardboard. I got a new piece that I placed my plate on and I'm tracing the outside of my plate. And once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and score through the cardboard. And really what I want to do is cut out as close to the shape as possible, making sure that I'm cutting on the outside of that line so that when I'm done cutting, my plate fits right into that space and is firmly kind of held in place so that when we're printing, there's no movement or shifting back and forth. So I'm going to go ahead and place my plate into that center space. Make sure there's no shifting or tucking. And then I'm going to do the lift test and pull the piece of cardboard up and around it. And make sure that it sits right back in place. So the next thing I want to do is set up a support system for the paper that I'm going to be additioning. I've decided that I want my paper to have three inch borders. So I'm cutting it a little bit wider at four inches. These are sheets of foam core that I'm cutting into four inch lengths. I'm then going to stack them and place them around my plate to help support the paper. One of the things that you'll notice is that the lino cut block is about three quarters of an inch high, so it's going to require multiple sheets of foam core to actually get stacked and to sit accurately. Once I get all these cut to size, I'm going to make sure that they fit around my linoleum block and place them in place before I do any gluing or adhering to the surface of the cardboard. Make sure everything fits. Cut myself out a little bit of a finger grip and I think we're good to go. First thing I want to do is use glue to adhere that first layer down. I'm using Gorilla Glue right here and then with a Gorilla Glue I'm going to go in and use tape to make sure everything is connected to that cardboard that it's not going to move while it's drying. And I'm also going to glue the pieces to themselves and tightly kind of snug them around the plate so that they don't move as I put on the secondary and tertiary layers of the cardboard. Basically you want to create like a really really tight pancake around that wood block print so as you're pulling it out and in over multiple additions uh, nothing happens to the linoleum. I'm going to place a heavy flat surface on top of that foam core. There's my big sheet of wood. I'm going to let that dry for a bit. And you can see once it's dried I'm placing the print in place. I've actually uh, added some uh, tabs or border tabs to actually hold the paper in place and along the edges of those border tabs you're going to see I've marked off lines that go perpendicularly and horizontally across the paper and each one is labeled individually with letters you can label them however you want. Once I've done that I want to make sure that I take each of my additioning pages and lay them in before I start new printing and I'm going to mark them off the exact same way that I do on the matrix, that way not only is the matrix holding it in place, but those marks should also line up the paper. All right, you guys, I hope this helped.